What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the End Zone Top 25 Preseason College Football Rankings. Let's get right into it. Number 25, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Lots of people are high on this team. I'm pumping my brakes. At number 24, the Houston, Houston Cougars. I really like Houston. Watch out for them. At number 23, Central Florida. you got to have some respect for them, for what they're doing. They're building up a program. Mizzou, Kelly Bryant, watch out. Northwestern, a solid football team with a new transfer quarterback. They could make some noise in the Big Ten. At number 20, the Stanford Cardinal, a team that always seems to be solid. Can they break through that Pac-12, though? We'll have to find out. At number 19, Iowa State, a program that has been on the up and up. At number 18, Auburn, very disappointing these past couple of years, especially last year. I mean, they were pretty bad last year. Number 17, Iowa. Uh, that's another really solid, solid program. 16, Penn State. They lose a lot on offense, but you got to trust uh, James Franklin. He's been doing pretty well these past couple of years. At number 15, the Utah Utes. I really like Utah. I really like Utah. I mean, this football program can make a big impact in the Pac-12 and shake things up. At number 14, the Washington Huskies. Solid, solid team over there in the Pac-12. Can they break through though? I don't know, losing Jake Browning hurts. At number 13, Wisconsin. If their quarterback can throw the ball, I mean, they, they can just be so good and probably win the Big Ten, but that's been a problem for them. At number 12, Texas A&M. Great football team. They play Alabama and Clemson. That's going to be hard. 11, Oregon. Lots of people were really high on Oregon. I'm not super high on Oregon. I know that I have them highly ranked, but be cautious for the Oregon Ducks. Now we finally break into this top 10. At number 10, the LSU Tigers. I've been disappointed with LSU in these past couple of years. Can the offense finally get to, you know, just a decent offense? Like every year, I feel like watching, watching LSU is just like torture. Um, if they can fix that offense, they could be a great football team. Number nine, Michigan. They're just a team that disappoints you almost every year and probably going to be disappointed by them this year. I mean, that's just brutally honest. Number eight, Notre Dame. They remind me a lot of Washington. They always win a lot of games, but they can never break through. Never like win a national championship or win a playoff game. But they get there. They do have a good program. Number seven, Florida. Lots of off-season turmoil, stuff going on with recruiting. If that sinks into the regular season, then Florida might not be so good. At number six, Texas. They're back, we think. Um, you know, Texas could pull a Maryland and lose to Maryland again. Or they don't play Maryland, a team like Maryland. At number five, Ohio State. Yes, you lose your starting quarterback to the NFL but I have a feeling they have another quarterback who's probably going to be good there. Number four, Oklahoma. Jalen Hurts is the name of the game, but Lincoln Riley is the most important person in this whole program. He knows what he's doing with the offense, and he is going to get Oklahoma back into the playoffs, I think. Number three, Georgia. They're building themselves a little tiny copycat of Alabama down in the SEC East, or at least trying to. The problem is, they can't beat Alabama. At number two, it's Alabama. A team that was completely shut down by Clemson in the national championship last year. They do return to a, so, I mean, you never know. Actually, you probably do know Alabama's probably gonna get to the playoffs or the, you know, most likely the national championship. And at number one, a team with, like, one of the easiest schedules in the country and the best quarterback in the country. That's a recipe for success. It's Clemson. Watch out for them. I mean, I don't even have to tell you that. They're basically a lock for the playoffs unless something goes horribly wrong. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Please disagree with me. Comment what you think the ranking should be. Comment a whole ranking. I don't care. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, though. Make sure to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching The End Zone.